excuse me. Hello, this is Mitch from Underpool with an update on my Israel main battle tank, the Merkava Mark 3D, uh, the LIC version, um, the late version, and the kit number is TS-025. I've got a little way for it, but not too far, but a little bit further up, so I'll just take the box off. And as you can see, this is it. This is how far. I'll bring the whole top in to view slightly. Um, but this is how far I've got, and I've done the suspension. This bit comes off. I've actually got the brackets put on. I glued them on last night, and I really do want them to uh, to stay on there. So I left them overnight, so they've got a really good bond. And this is a hole. A lot of cleaning up on the suspension. I'm a bit fastidious, I suppose, getting these bits all, all uh, cleaned up, including the springs. And what I did when I sanded them after to smooth them down, I used a bit of extra thin brush around it. And it does actually do a good job on there. I've also got the back doors done. Now on this kit, they actually design it to actually be able to open. You can see a bit of filler there. That's where you have to fill, in, fill certain holes in. But the doors actually open. That's the foot. This is the bottom of it. So if I turn the right way up, it might help. That's where they go in. Now you're not going to see a lot in there, but I'm going to put some bits in here because I found in a magazine that there is actually storage in the back area of the tank for a uh, kit, uh, their kit, some bits of kit and a spare ammunition. That's what it looks like. So it's just inside there. So I'm going to put a build an ammo, uh, a metal ammo a case there with white. It doesn't matter about the shape of it too much as long as I give it a representation. Then put some case in it. So when you look in there, you're going to see a floor plus a bit of um, a bit of um, uh, storage. So that'd be okay. So as you can see, goes together quite nice. So I'm quite pleased with that. And it's level, so that's nice. All the wheels have been done. I'm going to turn it back over the other way because it's a bit bare and close the doors up. All the wheels have been done, um, all cleaned up and ready to go. So that's okay. Then there's the top plate. Now, I've just actually test fitted this part on here. This is, uh, and it fits in there quite nicely. There's another grill that goes across there. These are all grills, but they actually have an armoured plating over the top. Splinter plate, I suppose we call it. Um, so she looks nice. You can see the details are really nice and crisp. I'll take that off because before it goes flying. <laughs> and really happy with the way that coming up so far. And then we've got some brackets here that actually are, are not 3D. And I don't like that. So I'm going to cut the metal part, the actual loop off, and replace that with wire. Same with all these handles as well, because they're, they're rather flat. Because when you look over here, these are the ones that come with the kit. And you have to make them. And basically, they have actually got a 3D effect to them because you have to put the clip on as well. So there's a lot of work needs to do for that. That's going to be taking place. I've got me fenders on the rat, and I didn't use the PE as you can see. I didn't use the PE at all because I quite like the fact that these are quite thin. And let's face it, you're not going to see the thickness of it anyway. And there's a lot of stuff to go in this area at the rear anyway. Um, I've actually got this. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it yet, but uh, I've got these. This kit, the Legend kit, uh, for the Merca for three, tire a hole and basket set. So the only thing in the basket set, the actual metal parts, it's not 3D enough for me. But I, I'm going to decide what to do because it is a nice little set anyway. But um, yeah, so there's a lot of bits to go on here as well. And you can see I've actually got the, the, the actual kit PE on there and there. And there's the rest of it. And if I just put it on here, you'll see what I mean. That's the rest of it. And it's going to be, um, it's quite nice. So I'm going to be using the kit PE for this one. And I may use some extra bits from the actual um, uh, uh, ET model set. But I'm going to keep that as a lot of spares for other kits in the future. But um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. That's come along nicely. And that really is the bit of the update. Oh, I can show you the kit I was talking about. This is the, a, the um, Van new Vanguard Osprey book. I don't know how new it is. I don't know what the date of it is when it's published. Uh, can't find it without looking but if I remember I'll put it on the if I do find it I'll let know but this is a picture of a, a Mark 1 or 2 Merkava but you can see the storage in the background it looks really nice and I think myself just having that little bit of extra inside there they, they are strapped in as well so the crew can get in and out the vehicle I suppose and uh, from the back and also have storage extra storage in that area so well worth a look and this is an earlier mark as you can see so right so that's the book Vanguard and I think that's really it for, the, for, for this update. Um, there's not much more. I'm going to be putting this on Steve Mottram's IDF uh, web page on Facebook. So, so that'll be going up there as well So, um, to this stage. And then I can get on with it again a bit more. Just to let you know, that, just show you that if you 
this does really go on nicely there's there's two two pins there you can see them nice pins they go in place there you know, I might not be able to line them up straight away but and then this just drops into place there I've got to go careful there you go and that's it she looks and that's it, it fits in perfectly now you're not going to see anything for these gaps I'm not worried about too much about that but the tracks and the turret on because the turrets hatches you're not going to see much at all so you can see it fits quite nice it's a nice fit obviously it goes down a bit more but I haven't uh, I'm not going to push it too much so there you go so that's how far we've got but the whole this whole top will not be going on to, attached to right near the end because I can actually do a lot of uh, weather work and building work before that happens so what I'm going to say is that's the end of this uh, first update on this uh, Merkava Mark III and our which was TS025 the kit number and I'll see you on the next one Happy Monday! Oh, and Happy New Year! Because uh, it's my first video in the year, so Happy New Year to all my subscribers. And I'm sorry it's ten days late. <laughs> anyway, could we'll save it for next year. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.